All right, here we go on this Conchcraft edit on a pig eye. I sped this up into 2.5x just so that I can watch it in a little bit more efficient manner. I'll pause it as we kind of go along. Nope. All right. So right here, if you are going to um, make this cut downward, then this should be right here. Okay. So if you're going to cut, if you're going to make a cut here, then your Calibri right here should be right about here. All right. There you go, that's better. Right here, your Calibri is upside down. That should be flipped around the other way. It's still flipped upside down. You, right there, your cut right here is not lined up appropriately. You've got your initial incision here, whereas this comes all the way out here. Uh, so those need to line up uh, better there. Your Calibri is still flipped upside down. Good job with your blade there. Good. If you're swinging this this way, then, well, let me watch and see how you, how you complete this. You get some different opinions as to which way your scissors should be if they're curved. There is an argument that if you have the curve towards the globe, they hug the globe better. But there's a counter argument to say that if you have them flipped the way that you have them flipped, that they'll separate the tenons a little bit better and um, make the graft a little bit thinner. So just in case that ever comes up in the future for you, that's kind of the two ways. I don't really care one way or another uh, which, way, which way you have them. All right, so right here you need to undermine with your scissors a lot further back here before you start making uh, that limbus cut there. So that dissection should be made before you start making your limbus cut. I realize the conch is thin and that it splits and that's what happens on pig eyes. Turned out pretty good. Uh, you basically here just want to uh, reduce the amount of trauma that you're putting on the graft. So don't be spreading it out, moving it around, touching it so much. Just Get it so that it looks like it works and then start moving on to your, your, next, uh, your next step. So again, don't touch it so much. 
that's good placement of your needle, good placement of not bridging it and getting everything correct. Yep, that's good right there. Yep, that's good. Your Calibri's upside down. It's good placement. Make sure that you're rolling your fingers to follow the curvature of the needle and not just push it through. So roll it, roll your fingers a little bit more. You're messing too much with your graft, poking it around, spreading things around. Don't, don't mess with it so much. That's good, removing some of the tenons there. But be aware of how much trauma you're doing. Every time you spread it out like that and you run your, the tips of your scissors across that, you're, trauma, you're still traumatizing it too much. Don't run your scissors across it like that. When you're passing your needle through there, make sure you're stabilizing the globe with your Calibri. So you might want to bring your Calibri 
uh, off, off kind of off to the side, uh, say like right here and, and hold right there and stabilize that uh, while you pass your needle. And that way um, you get a little bit more of a efficient push of your, of your needle through there without uh, tearing through tissues that you don't need to be tearing through. So like right there, you should be stabilizing your globe better. You're messing with your tissue too much. Stop spreading it around, stop touching it. There you go, that's better. Yep, there you go. That's a good job holding that right there when you made that pass. That's what you should be doing on each pass. There you go. That's good right there. Holding. There you go. And then passing through. There you go. Good job getting untangled there. That was good. 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 Yep, that's a pretty solid effort right here. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. All right.